everybody. How you doing tonight? So I think I have a pretty cool test in store for you guys. So I'm going to be putting this i6 Plus up against its big brother, the S9 Plus, in this testing room. And I thought this would be a pretty good test to truly see how much better the S9 is suction-wise compared to this i6 or i7 or i8. Uh, this could surprise us. This i6 Plus could possibly be just as good. I know the suction is nowhere near as strong as the S9, so the S9 should honestly dominate this test. So what I'm gonna do, so I'm gonna run the i6 Plus first. We're gonna put this in the testing room, like I said. And we are gonna put down exactly two pounds of rice, which is two cups of this basically, two pounds. So I'm just gonna dump this and kind of spread it evenly throughout this entire area on all surfaces. We're gonna set out the Roombas. We're gonna have them do a double clean and put the S9 Plus on its highest suction mode. Now the downside with this i6 Plus, there's only one suction mode and it's not very strong. So that's why I say the S9 should pick up a ton more than this guy. So I think it's gonna be a pretty cool test. We'll see if the S9 Plus is truly worth the extra few hundred dollars. Personally, from every test I've already done, I say it absolutely is, but I think this is gonna be the nail in the coffin. So let me dump out these two pounds. I'll show you the mess. We'll start it and then I'll switch to the overhead and we'll get this test going. All right, everybody, I put down the two pounds of rice and a quick note, since these are self-empty bins, that's one of the main reasons why I'm doing two pounds is because Roombas are really the only ones that can do this type of job because of the derp and sensor. So I'm gonna take the bag before the test and weigh it, see how much the bag weighs. Then after this test is done, I'm gonna re-weigh the bag and that'll tell us exactly how much it picked up. So two pounds of rice is quite a bit. As you can see, it is just literally everywhere. A little bit hard to see there. Hard to see in here too, but there is a ton of it. I'm gonna put down the exact same amount for both tests. And remember, it's gonna be a double clean. So most likely, I know for sure the S9 Plus will have to go back and recharge since that's gonna be using its maximum power. This one most likely will be able to do a double run on the single charge. As you can see, robot settings, two passes, and it's gonna self-empty when it feels like it needs to. So go ahead and send this guy out. And we'll see how long it takes, how good it does. We'll weigh the bin, and then we'll send out the S9. And compare the two. Like I said, my prediction, and I think all of yours most likely is the S9 should dominate this because the suction is ridiculous compared to this. But this might surprise you. The dual brush rollers that Roomba has is really more important than suction. And you're gonna see it do this a ton. That's the sensor built in that detects extra debris on the ground, so to ensure it picks it all up by going over it a few times. Especially on the overhead shot, we should see this do this, basically this entire test, I would think. As you can see, even with just little pieces of rice, it picks it up really good. Wonder how many times this will have to self-empty. I'd say probably a good three to four times if I were to guess. All right, I'm gonna switch to the overhead and uh, as soon as this is done, we'll check it all out and hopefully it won't air out for any reasons. I will be back when it's done. If you're new, please leave a like, consider subscribing and leave a comment below. Ask anything you'd like. 
If there's other tests you'd like to see with these robots or any of my other 25 robots, please let me know down in the comments. And I hope you guys enjoy. guys the i6 plus is done it did have to go back and recharge with but after it recharged it was enough battery power to finish the job which is good so it did 275 square feet according to this 84 dirt events that's how many times it went back and forth over a specific area so you can see that was a ton of dirt to clean up it's like two hours and 39 minutes total with an hour and six of that being charging time so and that's the map that it made, as you can see, basically perfect map of the area that it cleaned. So let's go ahead and take a look at how well it cleaned, and then we will weigh the bag and we'll compare it to before and after and see exactly how much this picked up. And then after this, I will do the S9 Plus, do the same exact thing, and we'll see which one is truly the best. So looking at the carpet, man, with a double clean, these carpets look immaculate like this medium density I don't I literally don't see a grain of rice thick carpet there could be some embedded on the carpet possibly but from the top layer it looks fantastic regular thinner carpet once again looks amazing now the thresholds which is a problem for all robots. Looks like a lot of it got pushed over here and they're just unable to pick it up because there is no seal. All right, the carpet tiles, other than by the thresholds, it looks amazing. Over here on the hard floor, I mean, literally a couple of pieces of rice, but it looks great as well. So a little bit of rice over here on the tile i say the tile probably has the most of it anywhere, but still a very good job. So now what really matters is how much this bag weighs. Let's go ahead and take it out. <laughs> Thing broke off, so it's pretty heavy. Yeah, this, this was completely empty before. If it focuses, you can see. All right, so we put down exactly two pounds of rice. The bag before this test was empty and it weighed 1.3 ounces. Let me confirm that. Yep, 1.3 ounces. So let's see exactly how much this picked up, ready? 
So one pound, 15 ounces, so very good. You take away the 1.3, so we're looking at one pound, 13.7 ounces out of two pounds. I'd say that's pretty good overall. If I were to guess, the rest of it's embedded into this thicker carpet because this does not have great suction. But even with that being said, it got a ton of the stuff up. And really most of the weight is right here. All right, so it only missed 2.3 ounces out of two pounds. Once again, I'd say that's very good. So if you're new, please do me a favor, like and subscribe. And uh, let me know down in the comments any other tests you'd like to see. And next up, I will be showing you the S9 Plus. All right guys, we got the two pounds of rice out. Once again, once you spread this out, two pounds is so much more than you one would think. Just absolutely everywhere. One reason why we're doing the double clean on these robots, because one clean just won't be able to get up this much rice. Pretty much everywhere. I mean, two pounds is a lot. We already ran the i7 and it did quite a good job, if you ask me. So if you like these types of videos, head-to-head -head challenges, please let me know in the comments. I can do head-to-head -head challenge. I can do head-to-head -head challenges with any of my robots that you guys want to see. Even three-way battles, five-way battles, whatever you guys want to see, let me know down in the comments. And we'll make that happen. So let me go ahead and pull up the app. All right, it's ready to go, fully charged. Okay, right now it's on quiet. Oh, we don't want that, we want custom. Turn it all the way up. We're gonna change the cleaning passes to two. And this thing should absolutely do amazing in this test. Let's go ahead and send them out. What do you guys think? How much? Let me know down in the comments what you guys think this S9 is going to do before the test starts. Listen to the suction once it kicks on. should see this guy go back and forth, but the suction is so good that it, just going over it once, it pretty much got every grain of rice. There's a couple, but once it hits that double pass, forget about it. So this thing's suction is amazing, but the one negative I gotta give it is the battery life. The next the next model iRobot comes out with, hopefully they see that they need a bigger battery because this will probably take four to five hours total to clean this mess on the double clean because the suction power is so good that it'll probably only last 30 to 40 minutes and then it'll have to go back and charge and then come back out. So I'm anticipating that this is gonna have to go back and charge two times before this test is done. So I'm gonna to switch to the overhead shot until it goes and charges for the first time. And then I'm gonna let it run and do its thing. And then once it's done, I'll let you know all the details, how long it took to charge, how long the entire test took. And then of course we'll weigh the bin and see which one does the best overall. But this thing's a thousand dollar vacuum for a reason. In my opinion, it's the best with self empty bin. All right guys, I'm gonna switch to the overhead. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video. If you do, like and subscribe, leave a comment, and I will see you guys soon.
Hey, what's going on everybody? The S9 Plus is done and it did, from what I can see, a fantastic job. Now my one major complaint about this guy is its charging. This thing took five hours and 24 minutes for this small of a room because it was on max suction. As you can see, the cleaning time was two hours, one minute, but the charging time was three hours and 22 minutes, which is really annoying. Yes, it's on max suction, but this this particular robot, even the i7 cannot clean my entire floor plan upstairs without going back to and to recharge, which to me I really dislike. Being as this is such an expensive robot, it should have a much bigger battery in it. But I think that's something they might do in the next version. I really hope so. I robot, if you happen to be watching this, give it a big battery. We want these things to clean and get it done quickly, at least I do. But anyways, five hours and 24 minutes, which is extremely long. Let's go ahead and take a look at the job it did. Like I said, I mean, these carpets look absolutely perfect. I really don't see, I mean, even the threshold, remember when the i6 did it? There was a whole bunch of debris right there. That's not even here this time. I think the suction is so good that even though if it's driving on the threshold and the rollers aren't necessarily touching the debris, I think the suction is so strong that it's still picking it off the ground. I mean, look at this guys, even this hard floor, I don't see any rice at all. The tile over here, perfect. I mean, there might be one or two grains of rice laying around, that's it. So, I'm pretty sure this is gonna do amazing on this weight test. Like I said, I have a feeling it's gonna be over the two pounds that I put down. But let's find out. Okay. Set this here and turn this on. All right, so the dirt bag before the test weighed 3.3 ounces. So I see what it weighs after the test. You can see it's at zero. 2 pounds, 2.5 ounces. So that tells us this thing picked up a total of, or I should say it only did not pick up 0.8 ounces. So it did miss just under an ounce of the two pounds, which is very good if you ask me. Especially when looking at the carpet, I can't even see where that one ounce would be, but an ounce of rice is not much. So it definitely wins this challenge. The suction is just better. I mean, everybody expected that. However, that i6 Plus did a very good job, even though it has low suction power. The battery lasts longer. It's cheaper. So what do you guys think? What is your personal pick? Do you pick up this S9 Plus? Usually you can find this on sale for right at $900, but I've seen the i6 Plus as low as $549, brand new. So if I was basing it just off the price, the i6 Plus is very, very good. If you need the strong suction and you want a deep clean and you can afford the extra three, 350, I'd say go ahead and step up to this S9. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, please smash that like button. Consider subscribing, leave a comment, and let me know what other vacuums you'd like to see a test like this with, where we can battle them head to head. Doesn't necessarily have to be a cleanup challenge, but also remember, only the Roombas can do this challenge because the sensor and the dirt bend. All right, I hope you all have a fantastic day and I will see you guys in the next one.